world is no longer the way where you could just say, if I only knew what the cardiac output was, it would tell me something. We don't have uh, you know, a 50-year-old with pneumonia go to the ICU, right? We don't have a 60-year-old who had uh, you know, a stent and a heart attack go to the ICU for the most part, right? Um, so the, the people that we have who come to this high acuity care situation uh, are, by definition, these high-risk and complex patients. This is the driver, right, for what's going on inside the healthcare system and inside ICUs, okay? And the reason that isn't good enough, okay, to just let your doctors run around and use whatever they have available, and I knew how to do this 20 years ago, right? Okay, it might have worked 20 years ago, okay? Where, let's say on a trauma service, okay, you had a 20-year-old gunshot wound and the guy's bleeding out on the floor. Yeah. Okay, that's a, high, that's a volume problem. Hello, <laughs> right? That's not that difficult to figure out, okay? And it's the reason that, you know, the physicians running around and using their old methods doesn't really matter. Okay, who cares what they're doing, right? Because I didn't need, you know, a flow track to figure that out. The guy's bleeding on the floor, it's a single issue problem, it's hypovolemia, give volume. Okay, right? What happens when you become older, sicker, with multiple comorbidities and complex procedures, with all sorts of different things going on, that's a multi-system problem. There is some volume issue that you have to deal with. There's some cardiac a function issue, which is sort of the heart muscle or myocardial function, and there's some distributed issue, and these things will occur simultaneously. You can't figure this out or manage it, okay, with any one parameter. So this is like the difference between you know seeing the world the way it is versus seeing the world the way you wish that it were. Okay? The world is no longer the way that it used to be where you could just say, if I only knew what the cardiac output was, it would tell me something, right? In the world is simple, that might help you, uh, but in the land of the mixed picture, it really won't help you. Uh, and so what you need is to have the ability to manage multiple levers simultaneously. Need to reduce recovery time, complications, and resources in your ICU? Discover the Imacor three-step method to hemodynamic stability. And stay tuned for more Whiteboards with Roth. Imacor the hemodynamic ultrasound company.